version 10.5, new visual features. This tutorial applies to PHP Runner and ASPRunner.net version 10.5 or later. I am currently on the editor page with a listing page selected and you will immediately notice the new options available. Not all of this is new though. We can still view the HTML code and even edit it. There is a big warning in the manual. Editing HTML is left for compatibility reasons with older projects and is not recommended at all. For the most part, the menu editors stayed the same. We do have the option to add a secondary menu. I will just use the main menu here. Also, nice big buttons were added to add, edit, delete, create new menu items and new menu groups. You can also reset the menu to its original state with this button over here. Next, we still have a selection of themes to choose from. This will probably be the first step in choosing a basic look for your application. Currently, the page looks like this. Back at the editor page, you can now select the sidebar theme color. I will choose something drastic so we can observe the changes a bit better. The sidebar width is currently 250 pixels and can be made wider or narrower according to your needs. The sidebar width is this distance over here. Bear in mind that things like a search panel also displays on the sidebar, so having the sidebar too small can look bad. I find 250 pixels to be a good average value, but the beauty is you get to decide the width. Next, we can have the sidebar fixed. You will see in a moment how this works. And Compact. Note how the items move closer to each other as I toggle the tick box. This is especially handy when you are going to have a lot of items on the sidebar. Next, you can have the sidebar in dark mode. Personally, I like this option as it makes objects stand out more. And now, just before I upload these changes, First, have a look at how the sidebar reacts when I have a lot of records on the page. I select to show all records and if I now scroll down, watch how the menu items on the sidebar disappears at the top of the page. Now let's build and upload the changes. Refresh the page and the sidebar looks as expected. Remember we select the sidebar to be fixed. Now watch how the menu items does not disappear anymore as I scroll down. What a big improvement. Now let's move over to the top bar. I will select the same color. Note that the top bar appears currently flat. The gradient selection changes it to have a rounder appearance. Legacy top bar controls are selected by default. If I unselect it, it has a more blend in effect. I will also have the toolbar fixed so it stays on the page if we scroll down. Ok, I uploaded the changes and let's see what it looks like at this point. As you can see, the toolbar is also fixed now and stay on the page no matter how you scroll. 
This is very handy as all controls on the tow bar are always at hand. One thing I find more appealing is when I change the size from a normal to small. The tow bar reduces in height and it works better in my opinion when a legacy controls are switched off. Again, just my opinion. You can have it any way you like. Next we have a logo color. This changes the background of where your logo or logo text is. I'm just going to select something different from what the top bar currently is. Last but not least, I change the menu style from flat to rounded. This gives the menu options a more button look and I think it looks good. And there you have it. All it takes is a few tick boxes to tick and some drop downs to select and you transform the basic look and feel of your application with almost no effort at all.